At out front tonight, the buck stops at the White House. CNN has learned tonight that the White House chose to leave out key intelligence from the attack on Americans in Libya. Now, there were three things U.S. intelligence has now confirmed to be true. The attacks were pre-planned, terrorist attacks, and the work of al-Qaeda-linked groups. None of these three points were in talking points distributed to Congress and other government officials. Intelligence expect, expert Rudy Atala, who has worked in the Pentagon for two decades, tells out front the key information left out of the talking points can only mean the administration is covering something up. U.S. intelligence knew about the al-Qaeda link within 24 hours of the attacks and the now infamous comments by U.N. Ambassador Susan Rice saying the attacks were not pre-planned, not the work of terror, were four days after that. This does not add up. Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Rogers is our exclusive guest in a moment. But first, Elise Labatt joins me with the latest on the news she has been out front with from the start. Elise, you have been breaking this, this latest story about the White House choosing to leave information out. What are your sources saying as to why the White House decided to remove key points, like the fact that al-Qaeda-linked groups uh, were involved, like the fact that this was a terrorist attack? Well, I think, Aaron, if you look at the chronology of how this happened, in the days after the attack, in fact, the day after the attack, my sources were telling me this was a pre-planned military style assault indication there were terrorists involved and then as the days got by even though my sources continue to tell me that this was was pre-planned military style assault um, the White House started using these talking points um, saying that it was a mob no sources of mine no sources of CNN were ever saying that there was ever any evidence of a mob and then these White House talking points were delivered by Susan Rice on Sunday, even though there were officials that continued to say that it was a pre-planned attack. So it kind of makes you wonder why Susan Rice would go out and use those points. What officials say is, listen, this was the best information that Susan Rice was given administration talking points at the time, but you can see that... You know, there was a little Somebody bit of selective, right. selective talking points being used because there were a lot mm -hmm. of theories going on at the time. But 